All stations, this is uh, Mission Director on IM-1. We're evaluating uh, how we can refine that signal and uh, dial in the pointing for our dishes. What we can confirm, without a doubt, is our equipment is on the surface of the moon and we are transmitting. So congratulations, IM team. We'll see how much more we can get from that. Yeah, if I could just pass on a few words to the entire team in uh, Intuita Machines at Superbab and here in the here in the uh, Mission Control. Uh, what an outstanding effort! I know this was a nail biter, but we are on the si on the surface and we are transmitting. And uh, welcome to the moon, Houston. Odysseus has found his new home. An excellent call, and this is our team of intuitive machines, mechanics, and their families, their friends, everyone who has Correct. sacrificed so much to make it this to, far. Uh, what we can confirm, without a doubt, is our equipment is on the surface of the moon. An historic moment in lunar exploration, a U.S.-made spacecraft landing on the moon for the first time in more than 50 years. Welcome to the moon. Nearly 55 years after Neil Armstrong took one small step for man, a private U.S. company has taken one giant leap for mankind's future of space exploration. CBS's Mark Strassman reports on today's historic moon landing. Tonight, the odyssey of Odysseus has ended on the moon, the first American-made spacecraft kicking up lunar dust in more than a half century. As our equipment is on the surface of the moon. And Jubilant, mission control of intuitive machines in Houston, the first commercial moon landing ever. The final descent from 18 miles above the lunar surface, a continuous engine burn for 10 minutes. By touchdown, Odysseus had slowed to two miles per hour. Odysseus landed near the lunar south pole, carrying less than 300 pounds of cargo, including six instruments for NASA, an intuitive customer. The space agency hopes to have astronauts moonwalking there by the end of the decade. Some craters there never see light, so cold they may contain ice and water is critical to long-term space exploration. Odysseus is about the size of a phone booth. No crew members were on board. It landed Thursday night on the moon's south pole. None of the Apollo missions have landed in that area. The reason behind this was to explore that part of the moon and see if there's water in the form of ice before NASA sends a crewed mission there in late 2026. NASA paid the company $118 million for this mission. This will have a major impact on future exploration. Odysseus is planned to land about 190 miles from the south pole of the moon and this is an important location because it's one that the Artemis program and NASA are targeting as a site to potentially send humans to the moon. The spacecraft, uh, if it lands successfully, will be the first American spacecraft to land on the surface of the moon uh, since 1972, so over 50 years. Odysseus is going to teach us a lot about the moon, about technologies for landing on the moon, and then um, for surviving on the lunar environment, especially as we look to uh, build a more permanent base on the moon through the Artemis program that NASA is leading. And liftoff of Artemis 1, we rise together back to the moon and beyond. Odysseus is going to land in the middle of lunar day, so it'll be sunny and warm when it lands on the surface, um, but then after about a week, uh, it'll become lunar night, and so it will get cold, and the electronics aren't expected to survive how cold it will get. And then also it will um, go into nighttime, so the sun won't be up, and so it won't be able to power its solar panels anymore. There's so much more that we have to learn about the moon. Uh, everything from how it formed to 
the technologies needed to have people survive on the surface of the moon. So there's so much science and technology that we still have left to, to learn at the moon.